Hello miners, Munchmo back with some more modded Minecraft. So what's new with you? I have a plan for today. Um, we've got this thing here. He left me a little present. Very nice of him. It says, you mentioned you wanted a portal gun. Hope this helps. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. I, I'm going to look forward to that killing this guy but before i do that i have some other stuff i have to do first so um so we're gonna we're gonna work on a couple of different things here today um i'm not fully prepared for exactly what we're gonna do um as you see i've labeled my aisles here for my stuff in case somebody asks for materials and i tell them that they can have it i can direct them where to go you know aisle three right side halfway down the middle that's my oak see oak right there and other stuff like that so that, that makes things easier um Let's see what we got in the way of materials. I think I need to move my quarry. Oh yeah, I need to move my quarry. It is. It is done down. What do I do with manganese? What do I do with manganese dust? I can use it as an amplifier. Really, that's all it's used for? That can't be right. Huh, okay. What else we got? More diamonds over here. Ooh, and more ferrous. That ferrous ore takes me to what it is we're gonna be working on today to start. Oh, look at all those diamonds. So nice. Man, that's a lot of diamonds. 31 diamonds. I already had more. Uh, oh, look at all the diamonds there. And I still have all this diamond dust. Okay, so let's get to what we're going to start with today. Today we are going to start with an industrial centrifuge. So let's get making, shall we? It's actually... Not nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. It takes two pulsating chipsets, which I've already got over here in the uh, in the room this way. It takes a couple advanced machine blocks, which I think I'm pretty much ready for. Yep, two of those. Excellent. I think this will actually be pretty easy. Um, mm, yum, 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 yum. So uh, I think Moo might have found my little surprise I left for him there. Uh, by now, I'm not 100% sure if that's the case, but uh, pretty sure he has found it. All right, so there's that. Next, we need two advanced machine blocks, four refined iron. So let's grab some refined iron over here. Da, da, da. Oh my god, I have a lot of iron. Holy crap. Um, I'm going to have to do something with that iron, like turn it into blocks of iron or something. Eek. Okay. Now I just need an extractor. That's pretty easy to make. What, what's that? We'll worry about the extractor last. Need two of these advanced circuits, is that right? Yeah, two advanced... Or no, I don't need advanced circuits. I need... Because I'm using this. Okay, okay, so... Two machine... Two advanced machine blocks, which should be... Where are they at? Here we go. I need... Two more machine blocks. There they are. There we go. Two advanced machine blocks. Perfect. Wrong spot. And now I just need that extractor. So how do I make an extractor? Wow, this is a lot easier than I was expecting. An electronic circuit, another machine block. You know what I'm going to do? Before I go any farther, I am going to take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There. Okay. Nine stacks of this into the furnace will get me nine stacks of refined iron. Four, one, two, three, four. Sure, that's okay. I'm gonna throw my ferrous ore into the industrial grinder over here. Voila. And away we go up here to continue making the extractor. I need another. Yeah, let me grab that. I'm not. Any suggestions on what I can do with all this iron? Because that is a lot of iron, I gotta admit. All right. There. Why not? Okay. A machine block. And tree taps. It's four tree taps. And an electronic circuit. Do I have the mats in the table for one? I do. And now four tree taps, which is 20 pieces of wood. All right. Like that. Oh, most left without saying goodbye. Oh, but he's back. He's probably fixing some sort of rendering bug or something. OK, 
because, you know, it's Minecraft. It's what happens in this game. This is actually really, really easy, it seems, getting this thing put together. Ah, extractor. Okay. They made the right thing, right? And it just goes right in the middle, and I've got my uh, industrial centrifuge. Perfect. That takes 32 EU. Let's make sure I... Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, 32 EU. I almost made a faux pas there and hooked it up in the spot over here with a high power. Ooh, that would have been horrible. So this thing only needs 32 EU, which means I should power it over here. Well, crap. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to put it right here. Yeah, let's put it right here. Oops, let me go into my supply bag. I love this thing. Ever since I did this, this has made me so happy. Boop. All right. Oh, that went down there. I need um, one of those doohickeys. You know, those doohickeys to get me the power that I need. One more one of those. And uh, let's put this thing away here. Oops, I should have a uh, glass fiber cable. That's what it's called, glass fiber cable. I don't think I'm going to be automating dropping stuff in here, but just in case I am, it's a good place to put it right. Yay, no explosion! Hooray, hooray, hooray. Now, what we need to put in here, because what we're going to do is I'm looking to build a mining laser. And from what I understand, there are certain things that, uh, laser, that I need to be able to build a mining laser that I can only get. So this 360k helium cell and that. The 60k helium cell. Okay, so centrifuging glowstone. That's what I need. So I need cells... How many? Okay, hold on. Let's look at this. We need, we need one 300k. So we need two. And each one of those is three. So that's six 60k helium cells. So that's six helium cells, which means... Stack and a half of glowstone go in there. Okay, that I can do. So let's get some cells, which we're going to need to make a stack of cells here. I think all it takes is a stack of tin to make a stack of cells. I might be wrong, though. Yeah, we get four per... Okay, so a stack of, and uh, glowstone. So, and that's... Oh, wait, that's glowstone dust, right? So we need a stack and a half of glowstone dust to get this stuff. I should have that here, right? Duh, I'm looking in the wrong spot. Glowstone dust is over here. It is over here. Oh, crap. You know, it's funny. The other day... Mavis was, ugh, what the hell was that? Mavis was saying something about how it's, she was shocked that I knew where everything was. And then most of the time I do. But it, not the glowstone, it seems. That's like the one thing that I didn't get right. All right, that's okay. So we throw our cells in here. We throw our glowstone dust in there. And away it goes. Spin away, good sir, spin away. So we're going to let that run while we work on our next task here. Well, actually, no, we're going to go collect some more glowstone. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? That's a good question. Can we get glowstone dust at a higher rate from macerating? No. Okay, so we're guaranteed four if we use it on that. You know, We're just going to go to the nether and grab some glowstone. Simple enough. There should be a lot of easy access glowstone. You just punch it, get whatever we need. Instead of silk touching it or whatever. No big deal. So we are going to go get that glowstone. And while we do that, the rest will spin. It'll take a while. Which is why I want to move on to the next thing here. Uh, that's going. Oop. So you can see I've been doing some work up in here. To make this place a little bit better. Um, it's not done yet. Still got stuff going. But uh, it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, I think we might have suck the la lava in the nether here as dry as it's ever going to get. What do I want? What am I doing? Actually, I'm just going to leave all that stuff in there and punch this because that's the uh, easiest way to make it happen here. There's fire everywhere. People keep running through this tunnel getting blasted by those stupid gas and then not putting out the fire. So there's just fire everywhere around here. As you can see, this is uh, what has come of my lava gathering efforts in the nether. Jesus, it just keeps getting worse. Okay, we are going to pull that uh, thing out here to get this thing going some more. As you can see, the uh, nether... Oops, I did not mean to break those two blocks. This place is a little crazy, isn't it? Oh boy. Let's, um... Let's 
Just get the lava to flow up in here. Uh-oh. Out of charge. Let me put my uh, Lapatron on real quick. Take this thing off. Break a block with it. There we go. And, um... Uh-oh. Did I just break it? Something? There we go. Okay. And, uh... Oh crap, I forgot my jetpack, ow! Oh Jesus, this is how it all ends, isn't it? Oh Jesus, go, 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 don't stop. Oh my God, thank God for the lag. Oh my God, if I blow, oh God, and the, no, don't thank God for the lag. Put me out, put me out. Oh my God, I'm gonna die, oh Jesus. At least I died there, which makes it really easy to get my stuff, thank God. Oh, stupid me, stupid me, I can't believe I forgot to put my jetpack on. Stupid nether. Jetpack BS. It was all my fault. <laughs> but luckily, as you saw, everything except for those two little things were inside the, uh, whatchamacallit. So, oh, and he's gone. So, hopefully, if I did lose anything, I didn't lose anything, really. Well, I didn't, couldn't have lost everything. But again, I was just a freaking idiot. I can't believe I did that. I almost made it all the way back here, too. Yep. My phone is ringing right now. I can't answer my friggin' phone. You've got to be kidding me. I'm in the middle of collecting junk from the nether and... Oh, my God. Okay, I will be right back, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. My mom. She wanted to ask me a question, but then couldn't because I didn't answer the phone. So she left me a voicemail saying, I'll call you back later, maybe. I think I got everything. Um, looks like it, at least. I got my... Stuff. I put some tools back in here. The 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 this and the Lapatron, that pack and all that. So let's um rearrange my gear here. I think I've got somebody else's sword. I'm not really sure what's up with that. Um, I, th I th think I might be missing something still. I might have lost something, but I don't know what if I did. Yeah, it looks like I pretty much got everything. Okay. Anyway, I didn't get any glowstone after all that. Let me, let me get rid of this um death point here. Alright. Now there was... What is this? This is my flame power bow. Yeah, that guy. I hear that guy. And I want to kill him. Well, I will kill him if he messes with me. There is... You know, I wonder if maybe that's the reason people have been around here stealing all my glowstone and stuff. Oh, he dead. <laughs> Are you dead? I sure hope people haven't been stealing my glowstone. That would be really sucky. But there used to be a lot around here, and now I don't see any. Well, man! That's not good. No, there's still got to be some around here somewhere. Somewhere down here there should be... There isn't. How in the... <sighs> bees. I need to collect those bees at some point. More bees. Need to collect those bees too. How is. Yeah, people have been all over this place going to the stronghold and taking my friggin'. Oh, glowstone. I didn't even hear that guy making noise when he was shooting at me. Can I hit him from here? No, he's too far away. Oh, there's some glowstone. Never mind, they didn't steal it all. There's not much there, though, and it's directly over lava. No wonder it's still there. What is this? The nether portal? Where does this go? Let's investigate, shall we? Whose nether portal is this? I'm really curious. Where are we? We're... I don't recognize this place. Okay, anyway. This is somebody's place. I probably know where exactly I am if the world would load around me. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just leave it be. Not a very safe portal location, though. I tell you what. What the... Oh, my stupid thing trying to suffocate me to death. Curtain of lava. Alright, so there's glowstone right there. That might be gettable. How's my jetpack? I still have a third of it available. Actually, it looks like somebody's been sucking the nether dry over here, too. Nope, nope, nope. That's not all that gettable. Darn it, darn it, darn it. How about that? Is that gettable, or is that what I saw already that wasn't gettable? My jetpack. Still a third of the way there. That is what I want right there. Yeah, perfect. 
Oh, this is easy stuff. You know, I know I could easily get four per guaranteed by just grabbing it and pulverizing it, but, you know, silk touching it and then pulverizing it. But I need it as powder anyway. I don't want to take the time to turn it into, you know, do that and then pulverize it and yada, yada, yada. All right, so we got our glowstone. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to take a quick commercial break, and then we are going to come back and... We'll work on a little something else while we finish waiting for this stuff to do what it does, and then we're gonna make um, we're gonna make uh, the the watch call it the, uh, the 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 mining laser. So I will see you guys in just a few. So I have a confession to make. You know how last episode I said that I was getting Moo back for what he did and yada yada yada. Well, I lied. I didn't actually do anything to him. I just said that to make him paranoid. Because <laughs> I, I honestly, I couldn't think of anything to do. But now here's the good part. I, I figured it out now. Um, and I, I've, I went and uh, I went and did it to him. So you can look forward to that episode. Oh my God, if the world would load around me. You can look forward to the episode uh, in the near future of uh, my revenge to him. But uh what I said earlier when I went, yeah, the only thing I did was put the little things in there to surprise him. So, sorry. I, uh, I, I couldn't think of anything, but I got him now. So, we'll just wait and see what happens from here. So, this is what we're going to work on now. We're going to work on a energy conduit. Really easy. Hardened glass, electrum ingots. Simple enough. This stuff is similar to the Buildcraft conductive pipes only better um, this allows you to transfer energy safer you have a full loss across the board instead of um, instead of like a percentage per pipe or whatever distance something or other so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a stack of this stuff here man it sure uses a lot of materials to get that Oop, I need redstone, because we have to feed redstone into this thing to uh, make it work here. So let's grab a stack of that. Now, I'm not sure exactly how much redstone this work uses, but uh, let's see. Looking at the recipe, 50 MB microbuckets. Millibuckets? Microbuckets? I don't know. So 50 MB. So if we, let's make sure this thing is empty. This one's empty. So 50 MB we go. Boop. One is 25 so that means per each of these it takes two if we have a stack that means it's gonna take us two stacks of this crap so let's uh just stick that in there let it go grab another stack of this redstone and let it go and what this will do is this will allow us to replace our existing build craft pipe with this stuff what am i doing redstone is this way um and we'll be able to pump power through it and uh, not lose as much power and not have to worry about pipes exploding when they have power buildup in them. So it'll be a good thing. We're also going to go ahead and take all of these buildcraft pipes and move them. Because to be honest with you, it's, it's not the best location and layout for all this stuff the way I've got it. What I want to do is I want to move them back up against this wall here. I think. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna move them up against this wall about halfway between this output and that output so that it's yeah, it'll probably be right around here. That way I can feed in the biomass from the biomass tank out there, the biogas or biofuel or whatever, um, into a biogas engine. And then I can keep these guys running and all of them all set up and stuff. So we'll make it work out pretty good like that. But um, so we should have these energy conduits. Let me show you how these things work. Just take the energy conduit and where's a good example you know i don't honestly i'm not sure if we can even i think i have to replace the entire power system before i can do anything so i'm gonna need even more of this stuff great um yeah that's that's a good point i need more hardened glass hmm let's go pulverize some obsidian then and get this going now this um this thing takes forever we're only on our first cell, and we needed, what, six? And uh, it's all not even done yet. This recipe is crazy. I mean, look at this. Let's see if we can find it here. It's, um... 
Okay, forget that. Let's just hit this button. Nope, that's the wrong button. This button. And centrifuge. There. 100 or 1250. That's like 20 minutes. Something like that. Something, I don't know. Crazy long time. So we're going to have to wait on that to do its thing. Um, so let me pulverize some more obsidian here. Get it going. Pulverize an entire stack. Might as well, right? Alright. So, yeah. I'm going to have to replace this entire system off camera, though, I think. Instead of making you guys sit through me replacing, you know, pipe after pipe. That would just be boring for you, I think. So... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get this going and see what I can do about replacing the power system, moving it around, spinning down this glowstone, and then I will actually just come back and we'll make that mining laser uh, on camera, I think, because honestly, all I'm going to be doing is just kind of running around doing squat this whole time. So uh, I'll see you in uh, just a moment. That took so friggin' long. Oh my god, that's been like two hours. Yeah, it's been about two hours since I first started this, so... Whew, I tell you what, this is some crazy stuff. Let's see what we need to do here. Um, making a laser. Laser! Golly. It's getting kind of late. Okay, so lots of tin. Ooh, a dense copper plate. Luckily, I happen to have one that I accidentally made. Somewhere in one of these chests. Dense copper plate, sweet. Okay, so we got this, we got this, we got one of these, so 60k helium cells. Da -da. Okay, do this. Okay, one, and unfortunately these things don't stack, do they? Right? Nope. Okay, next. Tin across the top, so. And ten across the bottom. Okay, two, three, easy enough. Two, three, easy enough. And then ten down the sides, and here, and here, and there. Okay, I've got the first part. <laughs> Next, I need a ruby, easy enough. I need an advanced circuit, easy enough. Oh, two advanced alloys. Luckily, I think I have a couple spare. Right here. Ooh, I'm going to have to make more. Let me figure out the easiest, best materials to make the advanced alloys out of. Um, tin, zinc. I'm using zinc, bronze, and refined iron. Zinc, brass, refined iron. Zinc, bronze, ferrous. Ooh, ferrous ingot. There we go. Zinc, bronze, and ferrous ingot. Zinc. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Zinc, bronze, invar. Everything's brass or bronze in the middle, isn't it? Uh, tungsten. What's that? Brass, brass, bronze, bronze. Okay, so it's going to be bronze. Zinc and ferrous, I think, will do. So I need two of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, that's silver, steel, yada, yada. Zinc should be over here. Oh, that's a nickel. Oh, zinc. Do I have aluminum nickel? Oh, I don't have ferrous. Okay, so it'll just be refined iron then. Hold on, let me look at that one more time just to be sure. For some reason I thought nickel. Zinc. Zinc or tin. Does zinc have another use? Let me make sure that there's not some other grand use for zinc that I don't know about. Um, brass. Okay, zinc is fine. So let's grab some refined iron. As you can see here, I've been busy converting some of my iron into iron blocks for storage purposes. Uh, also, where's this thing? Here we go. And in we go. Okay, good, good. And you there. And let's roll her up. Wow. See how fast that thing filled up? That is awesome. 
Oops. Make. Um, this new system that I set up with the, whatchamacallit, oh, two. Ooh, yeah, what the hell, I'll make two more. There's, what, a compressor? Boop. But yeah, this new system that I set up using, um, whatchamajabble, these, uh, redstone energy conduits, these, it, it's so much more efficient. Um... The only the only problem I have is controlling the engines now. It could be problematic. Like I I don't see these things blowing up, but there's the chance that they might. Um, of course, it's outputting all of its energy, so it's not building up heat at all. So that one's not a problem. Other engines might be. We'll have to see what happens. But um, controlling them with gates isn't the same because you can't put gates on these pipes you can't put pipe wire on these pipes um or they're conduits really but um i'm losing a lot less power and it really seems to be working a lot smoother and faster plus i've got the electrical engines here running off of um this uh these mfes so and they're not even losing power either which means i'm outputting so much power it is just working really well for me um, this little change that I've made. Plus, I don't have nearly as many engines set up yet that I wanted. Oop. Oh, they're all going through the system, aren't they? I have to wait for them on the other side. Okay, what else do we need? I think I needed... Two titanium. No problem. Let's grab the two titanium before this happens. Welcome go back. Um, I have titanium over here. Not much, but some. Uh-huh. Let's uh, start putting this thing together, right? So it's that thing, those two things. Oop, wrong button. Oh, I need a uh, energy crystal. Easy enough. Let's make one of those. I think I've got stoop there. Let's grab a ruby over here. Oh, different the rubies look different now. Ruby there, and now I need. Oop, wait, hold on. Now is that a advanced circuit, or oh, just a pulsating chipset? I just happen to have another one sitting over there. I really should um, get some more Ender pearls to turn into those pulsating chipsets, because that's the easiest, bestest thing to use for half these recipes that call for these crazy things. This is just. I mean, look at the recipe for this. The recipe. Ender pearls and redstone. How easy is that? It's kind of crazy that you're able to do that. Honestly, it feels like feels like I'm getting away with something, and I like it. <laughs> All right, do we have plates here? Uh, not yet. Oh, here's one. Should be another one then over here. Don't see it over here. No, over here. Ah, two. Should be one more somewhere now. You know, I'll worry about that later. I don't really need it quite yet. But hey, check it out. It's a laser beam. Pew, pew. Can't do anything with it yet. Um, how do I do this? It, like that? Okay. Cool. Excellent. Mining is default. Long range. Okay. So, yeah. That is awesome. How badass is that? That's what I'm talking about. Thank goodness. And I can just leave that thing charging and come back later. So now the next step is to get a couple more pieces of gear here. I'm going to make a couple more nano suit parts. Which, I mean, I had them before, so I'm just going to remake them. And I think next episode, we are going to go up against a wither. Ho, 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 ho. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Got some carbon plates. Oh, there's an advanced alloy. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll be ready to let this thing run. It's coarse, whatnot, and uh, etc. Ooh, there's my compressed coal ball. Um, so yeah, I will uh, see you then when we go after the weather. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, as always, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to click that like button. And uh, if you want to see more and you're not already a subscriber, feel free to subscribe and uh, look for more great content every day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again next time.